Welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to show you how to install and configure Wireshark on Ubuntu 20.04. So, you are going to start off by updating the apt package list. So, open up a terminal and then simply type in the command sudo apt-get and then follow it up with update and then hit enter. It will ask you about the root password so it will be type in the root password and then hit enter once more. So, after that, wait a few moments for the apt package list to be updated. Now once that is done, if there are any packages that you have to upgrade then simply type in the command sudo apt-get upgrade and then hit enter again. So this is going to upgrade all of the packages if they are not up to date. The next step is to actually install Wireshark. Now to install Wireshark, the command is sudo apt-get install Wireshark and then you follow it up with the hyphen y flag and then hit enter. Now this is going to download and install Wireshark on your PC so wait for a few moments for the installation process to fully complete. You might be prompted about this kind of screen. If that is the case, then it is basically asking you that should the non-user or the non-super users be able to capture packets so the choice is up to you. So I'm just going to go with the yes but make sure to go with the recommendation that you want on your PC. Now after that, you can confirm the installation of Wireshark by simply typing in the command Wireshark followed up by space double hyphen version and then hit enter. Then it is going to show you the version of the Wireshark that is now installed on your Ubuntu installation. So as you can see from my terminal, it says Wireshark 3.2.3. Now what do you want to do next is you want to configure Wireshark. Now why do you need to configure Wireshark? So basically if you are logged in as a normal user, then you will need to add the user to the Wireshark group for capturing the packets as normal users. Now you can easily do that with the following command. So sudo then user mod follow it up with hyphen a and then the capital G flag and then type the name of the application which is Wireshark and then you are going to pass in the global variable for user which is dollar sign capital user. After that you need to simply press enter. Once that is done you also need to modify the dumb cap file permissions. Now you can easily do that with the help of the following command so sudo chgrp which is the change group command then follow it up with wireshark and then you're going to simply paste in the path of the wireshark which is forward slash user forward slash bin forward slash dumb cap once that is done you also want to provide the executable permissions for the same file so the command is sudo chmod plus x and then the path of the file forward slash user forward slash bin forward slash dump cap after that the last command is to set the set cap so the command is sudo set cap cap underscore net underscore raw and then a comma after that we have cap underscore net underscore admin and then we're going to change both of these values to eip and the path of the dump cap which is forward slash user forward slash bin forward slash dump cap after that hit enter once that is done your wireshark is configured now you can easily use it now to use Wireshark, you can exit from this terminal, you can open up the applications and search for Wireshark. And just like that, you would be able to use Wireshark and start capturing packets according to your needs. That was all about this tutorial. Now if you have any queries regarding this tutorial, make sure to leave that query in the comment section down below and we will get to you as soon as possible. And make sure to check out the link in the description box for the blog post on how to set up and configure Wireshark on Ubuntu. Now if this tutorial has helped you in any way, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.